Our opening song is number 26 in the Missal at Praise to the Lord. If you have a book, please join us. to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O my soul, praise him, for he is your health and salvation. Come on to him, now to his altar draw near. Joining in glad adoration. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As so we come this morning to celebrate this 17th Sunday of Ordinary Time, we continue to have parables um, from <clears throat> Jesus, and it's about the treasure today. What, what do we treasure in our lives? What do we work for? So let us take a moment to put ourselves in the presence of God, knowing of God's mercy and his forgiveness of our sins. Lord Jesus, you speak true wisdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you give us priceless treasure. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, mercy. have mercy. Lord Jesus, you show us the reign of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord mercy. have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us give glory to God. Glory to God Amen. in the highest, and on Amen. earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give, give you thanks, thanks for your great, great glory. Lord God, Lord, Heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Lord, Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, Lord, Lamb of God, Lord, Son, Son of the Father, Father. you take, take away the sins, sins of the world, Lord, have mercy on us. You take, take away the sins of the world, Lord, receive our prayer. Lord, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy on us. For you alone, the Holy One, you alone, O Lord, you alone, the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit and the glory, glory of God, God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now, to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, ask something of me and I will give it to you. Solomon answered, O Lord my God, you have made me your servant king to succeed my father David, but I am a mere youth not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours. The Lord was pleased that Solomon made this request. So God said to him, because you have asked for this, 
not for a long life for yourself, nor for riches, nor for the life of your enemies, but for understanding so that you may know what is right. I do as you have requested. I give you a heart so wise in understanding that there has never been anyone like you up to now. And after you, there will come no one to equal you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Lord, I love your commands. Lord, I love your commands. I have said, O oh Lord, that my part is to keep your words. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Lord, I love your commands. Let your kindness comfort me according to your promise to your servants. Let your compassion come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. Lord, I love your commands. For I love your commands more than gold, however fine. For in all your precepts I go forward, every false way I hate. Lord, I love your commands. Wonderful are your decrees, therefore I observe them. The revelation of your words sheds light, giving understanding to the simple. Lord, I love your commands. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all things work for good and for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be the firstborn among, among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called and those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. Again, 
The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace, where they will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, yes. And he replied, then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we spend a lot of time in our lives doing things, especially if we're part of a family. You spend uh, these days maybe uh, 30 years trying to pay off a house. We spend years providing our, for our children education or other th opportunities. Uh, and sometimes it doesn't, of course, stop even with high school or even college. Uh, sometimes we go further than that. And then maybe sometimes as we get older, we even get on to the point that as some families have done, some grandparents have done, was taken on the education of their grandkids. Um, and all that, that people work uh, so that maybe one day they can retire, so they work so they can have something there so the retirement. So there's, there's all these things that take years to do. Um, and the question is, is that become, is that our treasure? Is that because, are those things the focus of our lives that we work so hard for? And the question is, where is God in all that? Because you can, you can do those same things and work, you know, work for your children and work for your own, own benefit for, for later on in your life and um, provide things. But you can also realize all those gifts are blessings from God. All those opportunities God gives to us, that somehow God is a part of all that. So that when you hear the gospel that Jesus talks about, not this particular one, but he talks about the other, do you love me more than anyone else? Do you love me more than mother or father or children or yourself? that you do because you see everything is a gift from the Lord, that the Lord is there part of your life. Uh, so it really maybe sometimes doesn't really change those things that we work for and, and work hard for that we, that we share, but that somehow in all that, there's a connection, there's a relationship to the Lord and his blessings and gifts to us but also a relationship to the Lord that the Lord is guiding us and directing us and being part of that journey that he walks along with us, uh, that we acknowledge him as that kind of silent partner as we walk through the day, that he's just always there and that we recognize him, that we acknowledge him in our life. Uh, that's maybe where the real thing in a sense of, because the, the, the gospel is about building up the treasure of the kingdom of God. And if we go back to Genesis, we go back to the desire of God, we go back to the Baltimore Catechism, why we were made is to be with God forever in heaven. That's what he wants. That's what he desires of us. That's why he put us on this earth. And so we just have to make that connection. We have to draw those dots and connect them and make sure that, he, that we keep them part of that because all those other things can become distractions can be ways that take us away from the Lord because they, bec they become an end in themselves, and they're really not. The end in himself is God himself. So we pray that we continue to do that. And sometimes we lose focus. 
Sometimes we lose focus, and that's why we have reconciliation, to refocus ourselves, to examine our consciences and put us back on the track, put us back on the right seeing, keeping the Lord as center of our lives. Let us now proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He has son into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds with the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son, he is adored and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead. And life will to come. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we gather, we offer these prayers of petition for the church that we may all place supreme value on seeking God with our whole hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who are working to defeat the coronavirus, that God will give strength to all healthcare workers, insight to those researching treatments and cures, and patience to all who face daily challenges because of the disease. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our hear our prayer. For Benjamin Pelster, son of Michael and Lauren Pelster, who will be baptized at our church this weekend, that he and all children may come to deeply know and love God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who are sick, that God may grant them peace in the midst of their illness and a speedy recovery, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may enter into God's kingdom with all the saints in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And we pause now to offer to God our own needs and petitions. And we pray especially for the people of our parish for whom this mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord our hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, these are the prayers that we mentioned today. We trust in your Father to care and know that you know far greater than us the needs of all your people. So we trust in that compassion, in your generosity, in your goodness. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings with which, from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, the most holy sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just, a duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, who through his paschal mystery accomplished the marvelous deed which, by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with all the angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, but sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you come again. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, Bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks which you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, including St. Francis Borgia and St. Louis, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be, co merit to be co heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 The Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Of thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as you wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Need one minister. For those unable to receive communion this morning, we'll pray our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. peace like a river attendeth my way. When sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever, whatever my lot, you have taught me to say it is well it is well with my soul it is well with my soul it is well it is well with my soul. <clears throat> my soul is at rest in the Lord God alone. From God come salvation and hope. With God as my rock, I shall not be disturbed. All is well, all is well with my soul. All is well with my soul. Everyone would please be seated. Since this is um, the last Sunday, at least for a while, that Father Joe will be here to say Mass for all of us, wanted on behalf of the parish and the parish staff to say thank you on behalf of everyone here, everyone watching at home, um, thank you. Thank you, Father Joe. When you came here seven years ago, you came in a slightly different role as a senior associate and were asked to take on uh, much greater responsibilities. And you really stepped up to the plate for our parish. Um, so much good has come from your work here. Uh, thank you for being a great pastor and a great spiritual father to all of us and all of the people here. One of the many gifts that Father Joe has, and I'm sure you have all seen this in him, he is really good at being present. Uh, I can't tell you how many events I would show up and see, oh, Father Joe is already there. Father Joe is in the back uh, with the dishes, uh, hanging out, or uh, just present, chatting, enjoying, knowing his flock. Pope Francis says that a shepherd should smell like his sheep, and I haven't been sniffing Father Joe very much, but <laughs> he lives that. Um, I think another thing to Father Joe's great credit, uh, as a priest, and especially here in Washington, there's no way we could ever be considered locals in Washington. We weren't born here, and uh, even if we had lived here for 40 years, we wouldn't be a local yet. <laughs> 
But to Father Joe's great credit, he knows how many of you are related to each other, sometimes better than other people in Washington know how they're related to each other. Because he has a great heart. He loves the people here. And I know this is really hard uh, for you to leave Father Joe, and it's hard for all of us. So um, we want to first say we're going to miss you. Thank you. And thank you. Um, the parish, um, on behalf of the parish staff and the parish, we have a gift for you. I'll put it in the sacristy here, uh, since you're in the middle of Mass. But um, uh, just as another way of saying thank you for all of us. Um, so please, uh, if you would, join me in thanking our beloved pastor. Thank you, and uh, as I tell people, I never tell people goodbye, I just say I see you later. Um, thank you for all you've done for the parish. Uh, you know, with the COVID and all that, uh, so many parishes have been struggling financially. Not that uh, we're not, you know, we haven't, everybody has to contribute, but most people have contributed to the parish during this COVID, and uh, the parish is strong. You know, and any time I know we need anything to be done, all we have to do is say what we're going to want to do and what needs to be fixed, and people set up, step up to do that. Um, and that's just, you know, I always heard that about Franklin County, um, and especially about Washington, their generosity, and you've over, been overly generous um, with the parish and with me and with the priest here. So I'm very grateful for that, and I will miss you. Uh, I have no idea what's going on next Sunday. At all, you know. I know I'm going to be in, in All Saints in St. Peter's. I know uh, which masses I have during the week. I have no idea on weekends, um, and I don't know anything else I'm doing. So we'll find out this week. In fact, the pastor's gone until Friday or something. So I'll find out Friday maybe. But thanks for everything you have done, and uh, may God bless you and just be with you and keep you safe and keep you healthy. Thank you very much. There's only one announcement, which we announced last week. Just to remind you, Jim Boehmer's funeral is tomorrow, uh, tomorrow evening at 5 o'clock. It is at Our Lady of Lourdes because that's what they would like to have a church, not with all the scaffolding and all that. Of course, we don't have that, you know, during the week we don't have Mass in here. So that's tomorrow at 5 at Our Lady of Lourdes with, uh, Father, uh, with uh, Jim Boehmer. And I believe uh, Father, to uh, Father um, Freddie will be at that at that particular Mass also, just to let you know. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And go in peace, bringing the gospel of the Lord to all. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Blessed are the poor in spirit, longing for their Lord. For God's coming kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are the sorrowing, for they shall be consoled. And the meek shall come to rule the world. Lead me, Lord, lead me, Lord, by the light of truth to seek and to find the narrow way be my way be my truth be my life my lord and lead me lord today and 
and lead me, Lord, to death.